Mary was um, my writing partner. She was one half of the pen um, I met her about eight years ago. I turn jet black and you show off your light. I live. Lori is a best friend, a sister, a confidant. I mean, she was that person you could talk to whenever you could talk to. Just willing, loving, comforting, compassionate. Just one of the most beautiful people you could ever meet. Really great friends as well as being a business partner. Um, that's who Lori is to me. Me and Lori had many memories together. Uh, I'll say one of them would be just us just making up dances and routines at the house. Um, or even in high school because we used to have the same classes together. I used to, man, just be in the room, me and her just listening to some Destiny Child and Beyonce and you know, dressing up, putting on makeup, you know, getting beautified and just singing and dancing to the music together with some of our favorite, you know, artists that we love to hear. Lori is a sister, Lori is a friend, Lori is an angel, Lori is just this positive spirit. We wrote a lot together, we spent a lot of time together, we went to different events together. Um, I spent a lot of time at her house with her family. She spent a lot of time in my house writing songs. She was the sweetest, most kind, caring, just benign, just gentle, humble person you could ever meet. A Lori means to the city of Carson what? A community means. You know what I mean? She's a very big part of the community. She's very popular. Everybody knows her. You know, she's very outgoing, loving, caring, you know. I mean, she just has this aura about her that you'd want to be around. You know, she could gravitate to anybody. And you just want to meet her and see her. She's beautiful. You want to be next to her, talk to her. She just has this soft-spoken voice, you know what I mean? And I mean, she's a great representative that grew up her own for her city for her music, you know? And of course, you know, she's very educated, overachiever, and she's a wonderful girl. When I first found out, like, it was, she was missing, I was kind of scared and just trying to just pray and hope that maybe she would just come back. And then I would say it affects me because, like, we were good friends, so. My buddy who I used to see come up and down the street or we just talk about any and everything, um, I miss that sometimes. If I could tell Lori anything, I would tell her that I love her very much. You know, I want to tell her that, that she was a good friend. I would just wish she had came and talked to me. Because um, we had such a open relationship and I just wish you had to come and talk to me about whatever it is that was bothering you. Um, we could have talked it out like we always did um, and cracked a few jokes in the process. Um, I love you and I miss you. Lori is no different or, or, or nothing similar to everybody's mother, everybody's brother, everybody's friend, everybody's stranger, you know, any person that you can meet. She's just the entire, like I said, the composition of who she is as a person is love, you know, and I, I think this is a, a great opportunity to remind people to love everybody, you know, don't take anything for granted because tomorrow isn't promised and it could be gone in the blink of an eye. So, you know, if you just remember that everything that you have, just cherish it because it's not guaranteed. There's no promise. There's no promise you're going to wake up tomorrow and you can still call your mom or your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your best friend. So, you know what I mean? This life is way too short to be mad at anybody for anything when nothing is promised. Not if, if anything, I will leave everybody with that. Just love now. Don't wait till later, you know what I mean? I just want to tell you, Lori, that I, I love you and I miss you and, you know, I'm taking your spot and being Cody's auntie and uh, we just miss you down here. So I know you're up there and you're watching over all of us and, you know, I guess your time is now. So it's all for you, baby girl. Love you. No matter where I go, Lori, I'm always speak of the love religion and the great things you brought to me in my life and a lot of the stuff that I learned from you and you inspired me and everything you put in my life, I'm definitely gonna share that with others. Dedicating this show meant a lot to me. I really wanted people to um, understand how much 
Lori affected my life and others' life. And I just want to say thank you to her family for allowing me to use my platform and my venue for my fashion show as a way to remember my friend Lori and a way for all of us to just celebrate her life. And I just want to thank you for giving me that opportunity to do so.